Yo, what's up people? I'm assuming that anyone watching this is gonna be a slaughter fan because my channel's kind of grown into like this organic home growing cannabis video slash um, seeing slaughter to prevail live channel. <laughs> anyway, um, I just saw slaughter up in Pittsburgh two days ago on Tuesday, July 11th, and it was a fucking epic show. It was brutal. I've seen them three times this year. And there was something special about it. And um, I was hoping to do a meet and greet and meet all the band, you know, I'd take a few pictures and try and get them all to laugh, you know. Didn't quite happen. It's all good. But I did get to meet Jack Simmons, which was really, really fucking excellent. Because I drove four hours from the D.C. area, from Northern Virginia, to... Like, I had to go into work for a meeting that morning, and then I just hit the road pretty much immediately and drove four hours to Pittsburgh. And the drive was pretty stressful. You know how people are. Everyone's so fucking in a rush and so self hurt. You know, they're in such a hurry, cutting people off and this and that, and doing stupid things when you're going 70, 80 miles an hour. So, so the drive was kind of stressful, man. I was not having fun driving up, but it was worth it. I get to Pittsburgh, I get to my Airbnb, I, I, I leave my backpack, lay down for a minute, and then I get dressed to go to the show. I drive straight to Mr. Small's theater where Slaughter was playing that night. And I turn, uh, it's like up on a hill, and I turn up on the hill going down towards it. And on the right is like the building itself. And there's like the line of all the people waiting to go in, which was already like a block long, an hour before the doors open. And I'm driving down slowly, and I look over to my right, see the line of people. I look to my left, and I see this fucking guy just walking up the hill on the opposite side, down on his phone. Like completely minding his own business, and like no one seems to know who he is. And I immediately was like, dude, <laughs> that's the rhythm guitarist for Slaughter. So I pull up in the middle of the road, and I'm like, dude, you're the guitarist for Slaughter. And it was a really cool moment, man. His face, like, lit up. He was, like, so, uh, so like, uh, grateful and humbled to, like, be recognized by Finn. And he, like, walked up to my car immediately and shook my hand, and we spoke for, like, a minute or two, and uh, it was just a really pleasant surprise. Like, um, it was just good stuff all around. He was a really, really friendly laid-back guy um, really happy to, to be recognized by a fan just out of the blue and on my end of things like I was like yo dude I just saw you guys in Richmond a few weeks ago and that tickled him as well um, but I was like thinking to myself afterwards like man like the precise moment that I left all the bullshit on the road and that four-hour drive to get here just to come pull up at the exact moment when this dude's just walking across the street like like no one knows who he is <laughs> Um, so yeah, that was pretty awesome. I got to meet Jack Simmons, who, he's basically like the founding, he's like the founder of Slaughter to Prevail, as far as I read. He's basically the dude who contacted Alex and said like, hey, let's do something. So, that's pretty damn cool. And, um, the show itself was just absolutely ridiculous. The venue was a really cool place. I could tell when I first walked in, like, this is gonna be special. This is gonna be an intimate, brutal show. And it totally was. The, the place was almost kind of too small for them to really do, like, um, like a good lighting show. Like, I saw them play in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania back in April, and the lighting show was freaking awesome, dude. I'd love to see another show quite like that. This one was even, it was just small, cozy, like a small club kind of a feel. And, dude, they threw down so hard from start to finish. I think it was a pretty special performance from Slaughter to Prevail. And, um... Alex, like always, is just throwing himself down, just pushing it hard up there. But this this show, there were a couple moments where he was like pissed. He was like raw and like on the edge, like pushing his vocals. And to top it all off, when they were doing um, Zivali Batalo, there was a there was a girl who had a seizure apparently. And so Alex just stops the song, mid song. He's telling Evgeny on the drums. He's like, dude, stop, stop, you know. And it was a really, it was a really alarming moment. Like I was in the, like the middle of the room and I was watching the crowd surfing and some of those people were just getting fucking thrown around. So I was like, oh my God, dude, did someone just land on their neck? Like, no way. I mean, for the most part, the whole crowd, we were all concerned, we got it. Some people were like, keep playing. And it's like, shut the fuck up, dude. Someone just got hurt, you know? And Alex was like, no, dude, I'm not doing this shit. No, man, this is serious, I'm scared, you know? He was a total gentleman in that moment, so Thank God, in the end, it was a young girl. She had a seizure. She has a history of seizures. She was completely fine. Unfortunately, she had to leave the show, which I think is fucked up. And her boyfriend, too, apparently. Um, but Alex made a point to come down off stage, come up to her, give her a hug. So hopefully that made it more worth it for her. Like, 
I don't know. It was just, it was, it was just, just a wild show. There's something very special about that whole day and that whole night. And um, I got to meet Jack Simmons, man. That's so cool. I got to shake his hand with his hand right here. <laughs> and now I am uh, chilling, drinking a beer just north of Leesburg, Virginia at this really cool place, this brewery I've never been to. Got my slaughter shirt right there. Anyway, probably a bit of a long video, but I don't really care. I got plenty of time to kill. But anyway, I'll have to see him again. If you were at the show, it was fucking ridiculously good, wasn't it? <laughs> Cheers, guys. All the best.